Come on, come on, let's go, getting late. What's the rush? Fright Night at the Majestic Theater. Gorama, triple feature marathon, we got free passes. Cool, what's playing? Who cares, let's go. I've been to Fright Night, and I'm never going back. Why not? Because Frank's afraid of the dark, remember? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going back. Because you sit in that movie theater for so long, you start to forget that the real world even exists. The only thing that seems real is the horror movie up on the screen. That's what my story's about. You know when you get really scared? You can always tell yourself that it's just a movie. But sometimes a movie seems so real that it's hard to tell the difference between what's make-believe and what's really there. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of the Midnight Madness. I wanted to show you the view. It's lovely. Enjoy the film, ma'am. Everybody's a critic. Let's go. This place is depressing. I, I gotta clean the house first. Six bucks? That's it? One popcorn, two sodas. Pete bought the second soda. Friday's supposed to be a good night. Six bucks is a good night. Well, this job's getting tough. Had to pick up two of these things tonight. <laughs> Make jokes. You're gonna laugh when they shut this place down? No, they'll never close the Rialto. It's a landmark. Tell that to the owners. They don't like losing money. Is everything busted around here? This place would fall apart without you. Well, it's falling apart anyway. Maybe we can reuse these. <laughs> hey, it... Do you really think they're gonna shut us down? I don't know. But I'm applying for a job over at the quad. The quad? That's a multiplex. And it's got lines around the block. I need the job. The, hey, uh, you wanna get something to eat? Oh, no. I got homework. Thanks anyway. <sighs> Pete couldn't stand to see the Rialto die. So, he started a campaign to keep it open. It wasn't just his job he was worried about. Pete loved movies and loved the old theater. But it was no use. Unless a miracle happened, the Rialto was doomed. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Mm. Sorry. Thanks. It's almost locked out. Yeah, well, don't bother. No one comes in when we're open. How's the campaign going, Don Quixote? Well, you know, I went to the zoning commission to try to get landmark status. It's not going to be easy. I hate to break this to you, Pete, but I think you're just dreaming. Why don't you just... Uh, we're not open for an hour. Vink's the name. Dr. Vink. Dr. Vink? Vink. With a ver, ver, ver. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. We're not open yet. That smell! 
It's wonderful. No modern theater has that smell. It's stale popcorn. Look, what, what do you want? It's not what I want, lad. It's what you want. Is this your handiwork? Yeah. Then I've come to the right place. Guys, a nutbag. I'm calling the police. No. Marvelous! Marvelous! I couldn't have designed it better myself! Uh, look, you're not supposed to be here, okay? What is this? Who are you? Vink's the name. Dr. Vink. With a ver, ver, ver. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. My good man, I've come to save your theater. And it won't cost you a dime. And I am not a nutbag. I am a filmmaker. At least I used to be. Back when theaters like this were commonplace. Back before wide screens, before color, before sound. Back when films tried to stir the imagination, not bludgeon it. How old are you? Old enough to know that things have changed. Look, pal. My films were quite popular, you know. They always had a certain magic. How did you do that? A film I made many years ago. A horror film. Really? A vampire film, to be precise. It's quite unique. For in my story, the vampire wins. <laughs> What's your angle, pal? My good man, I'll make you a promise. Show my film in your theater, and people will flock to see it. Your fortunes will turn, and you'll make far more than six bucks a night. A black and white silent film is gonna turn this place around. Hey, that ain't a vampire movie, that's a fairy tale. You don't have to believe me. Just show my film once and you'll see. As for payment... Ah, here we go. I don't want money. All I ask is that once your success is assured, you give me one night a week of your choosing to show my other films to the public. <laughs> this film can do as you say. I'll give you three nights plus a cut of the vending. <laughs> I don't want your popcorn money. Just one night a week. Do we have a deal? Wonderful! You're a wise man. Look out! Look, buddy, maybe you'd better... Where'd he go? Back to Mars, where he came from. So, do we show it? The guy's loony. Throw it out. Pete stuck the movie in the projection booth and forgot all about it. But he didn't forget his mission to save the Rialto, though it was looking pretty bad. Bills were piling up and ticket sales were going down. It was only a matter of time before the owners would pull the plug and shut the old theater down forever. Then, one Saturday night, things took an interesting turn. You wanted to see us? Yeah. Something tells me this is bad news. So? I just got the word. We close in two weeks. down a landmark. I think maybe they can. Attention! We've... 
We've had technical difficulties with tonight's film and won't be able to continue with the showing. No. But we've got a special surprise. We're going to be showing a classic film from the golden age of silent movies instead. Yeah. Yeah. And if you stay for the showing and are completely satisfied, you'll still get a full refund when you leave. This better be good, young lady. My time is valuable. Enjoy the show. Good. I'll probably have nightmares for a week. Show more classics like that, kid, and you might get a couple more customers. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good night. Tell your friends. They loved it. No one wanted a refund. <coughs> yes! <coughs> we got a hit! Yeah! Let's hug again. <laughs> um, Pete. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't mean that. Oh, no. Oops. Exactly what that Dr. Vink guy said would happen? Well, yeah, I guess it is. Weird. <laughs> Let's talk this stuff. Come on. Dr. Vink's movie was a smash. So? They started a Saturday night Midnight Madness show, and it became a huge cult hit. They got so busy, the owners decided not to sell. Just as Dr. Vink predicted. Just as Dr. Vink predicted. The place is a mess. Yes! Uh, hey, you know, I was wondering, maybe after, you know, we clean up and everything, uh, you know, you and I could... Evening, lad. Dr. 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 Vink. I thought I'd stop by and see how things were progressing. Oh, your film's a smash. It's unbelievable. I mean, people are packing in and, and staying for two shows oh, and, and bringing friends. There you are! <laughs> I want to shake the hand of the man who saved this theater. Where you been? I thought it best to stay away until the success of your theater was assured. Success? <laughs> We're killing them. And don't think I forget who we can thank for that. It's time we made a deal for that uh, masterpiece of yours. I believe we already have a deal. You promised me one night a week to show my other films, did you not? <laughs> you were serious about that? Quite. Look, Doc, I can't show old movies here during the week. Uh, Saturday night, midnight, maybe. But I'm getting A-list films in here now. Why don't I just write you a check? I don't want your money. I don't want your friendship. I want your theater. One shouldn't make a bargain if they can't honor their commitments. Uh, maybe we... Look, pal, it's not gonna happen. You want a rental fee for your movie? Fine. But you are not getting this theater. End of story. <laughs> That's why you're wrong, my friend. This story is far, far from over. <laughs> In fact... It's only just beginning. <laughs> hey, <laughs> he doesn't want to get paid for his film. That's his problem.
the Rialto continued to do well, all because of Dr. Bink's strange movie. Pete wanted to study it to figure out why it was so magical. Unfortunately, he was about to find out. You know what? I just had the weirdest dream. What? I thought I saw Nosferatu step out of the movie. I think you've been working here too long. <laughs> uh, Katie, uh, I know you think I'm kind of a geek. You're not a geek, Pete. You're a nerd. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, uh, you know, I, I guess you know that I kind of like you and stuff. So. It's okay, Pete. I kind of like you, too. Dr. Vink, it's gotta be. He's trying to scare us. Well, he's doing a good job. We know it's you, Dr. Vink. Ah! Was that the vampire? No, yes. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I did see it come out of the movie. Movies aren't real. Well, that guy looked pretty real to me. Maybe I'm crazy, but I think I saw that vampire come out of the film. How? I don't know. There's something weird about that movie, and Dr. Vink's using it to get revenge. Oh, this can't be real. OK, I got an idea. Throw it up the last reel and project it. Why? What are you going to do? Probably something stupid, but I got to try it. Yo, when it's ready. <laughs> you get here? Ready!
Sorry, pal. Gotta finish what you started. Pete, I'm gonna stop the film. No, I'll be trapped in here. I saw this film, and I know how it ends. And I'm doing it. This movie's starting to get to me. <laughs> you have no idea. Bravo! Bravo! Think. Good show, lad. I couldn't have written it better myself. <laughs> As for you, Christoph. Uh, look, Dr. Vink, uh, I've been thinking. A deal's a deal. Forget what I said before. You can have your one night a week. That won't be necessary. You see, I've just purchased this theater. You what? Oh, yes. Now I can show my films every night. And believe me, I've got many, many more that are far better than this one. <laughs> The end. So who's going to Fright Night? Uh, it's getting late. Yeah, I'm kind of tired. Yeah. Yeah. Here, you can have my ticket. I, uh, thought you weren't going to Fright Night. You kidding? It's just a movie. And I got two free passes. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> 